Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham and holy exploding meat suits. The Boys Season 3 just dropped a new trailer. Today, I'm going frame by frame to break down all of the bloody details. The trailer features a brand new song by Imagine Dragons called Bones. The lyrics repeat the words, I'm losing all control because there's magic in my bones. Honestly, I thought we'd been watching these soups lose control, but this, plus all the bodily explosions in the trailer, promises that this season will blow the bloody doors off. The magic in my bones line is particularly interesting as it plays towards one of the biggest reveals we see in the very opening shot of the trailer. We see Billy Butcher staring himself down in a dirty bathroom mirror and his eyes begin to light up. This confirms that this season will explore a similar plot in the source material, where the boys get a hold of Compound V and take it to level the playing field between them and the diabolical soups. Sweat beads up on his face. Vod has tested Compound V on children with mixed results, but not yet on adults. Butcher will likely face some side effects. There's another mirror shot of Homelander in his penthouse. In the room is a portrait of George Washington, along with several paintings of the Revolutionary War. Similarly, the boys appears to be gearing up for an American versus British smackdown between Homelander and Butcher. Only now, the roles are reversed, with Homelander representing the power of privilege and Butcher representing the common man. As Imagine Dragons warble, waiting till the Reaper takes my life, an image of Black Noir flashes on the screen, implying that he's a harbinger of death. Starlight clenches her fist during a bot photo op. In another parallel shot, we see Mother's Milk gripping the back of a chair tightly, eyes locked in a gaze at two prescription bottles sitting in front of him. Perhaps these pill bottles do contain Compound V, and that's why he's looking at them like he wants to chuck them in a garbage can. Although, Compound V seems more like a drug that you'd inject than a drug that you can get prescription pills for. So maybe Mother's Milk is finally getting treatment for his OCD. Or these pills counteract the symptoms and side effects of taking Compound V. Frenchie is at Vought's newest attraction, Rave Maeve's Inclusive Kingdom. The capitalization of Maeve's sexuality was first introduced to us in the tie-in web series Seven on Seven with Cameron Coleman. A closet is filled with articles and files tracking Vought's soups. One reads, Queen's woman killed in high-speed pursuit, obviously calling back to A-Train atomizing Huey's girlfriend Robin. There's also clippings featuring several soups we've yet to encounter, all pointing to payback. What's Payback, you ask? Well, aside from being the title of the very first episode, Payback is a secondary group of soups, also created by Vought, who are basically a parody of the Avengers in the same way that the Seven is loosely based on the Justice League. Looks like we're finally seeing the Payback group this season. One article mentions a woman being paralyzed in a hostage rescue by Tech Knight, a Batman slash Blue Beetle slash Iron Man-esque sex pervert from the comics. There's also Federal Bureau of Superhuman Affairs wanted posters for Europo, who's a spoof on Nightcrawler in the comics. The other big missable details in these articles point to Jensen Ackles' character Soldier Boy, a Captain America parody character who we'll get a closer look at later. In the comics, Soldier Boy is a legacy title held by three separate characters, with the modern Soldier Boy being a meek, insecure dude desperate for a spot on the Seven. This will be changed for the series, however, as Jensen's Soldier Boy will be the sole character sporting the moniker and is teased to be worse than Homelander. According to these newspapers, Soldier Boy is considered missing or killed in action, perhaps explaining why we've yet to see the prominent character appear in the series. Then there's a pair of the Kendall Jenner Pepsi ad where she solved racism by giving a cop a soda. Here with A-Train doing the same thing with a turbo pop. A pro-Homelander musical sequence is led by Supersonic, a reimagination of Drummer Boy from the comics. Supersonic used to be an old flame of Starlight when he was Drummer Boy. Apparently, he has a public drug problem, but he rebranded as Supersonic after rehab. While Ashley Bennett is banging the nerdy screenwriter of Donna the Seven in a bathroom stall, he accidentally pulls out a chunk of her hair. If you recall from last season, trichotillomania and stress causes her hair to fall out. Huey and Starlight smooch at the premiere of the Donna the Seven film. You can see Don on the poster behind them. Homelander pokes A-Train in the stomach and grabs him by the neck to threaten him. He used a similar tactic on Starlight in season one. Congresswoman Newman stands in an alleyway and makes a man explode into tiny little people pieces. And holy Homelander, y'all, that is one mighty fine all-American dildo. I'm gonna bet that handmade models will be available on Etsy no later than this weekend. It's being proudly shown to Cameron Coleman, host of Seven on Seven and basically the Tucker Carlson of the boys' universe. Back at Brave Maeve's Inclusion Kingdom, we're introduced to the Crimson Countess. She's another member of Payback, a parody of Scarlet Witch and has her pyrokinetic abilities, as well as similar looking red energy balls that she uses to absolutely obliterate whatever poor bastard was in that Homelander mascot costume. Damn, he was probably only making like 16 bucks an hour. They did him dirty. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Upstart knows that you're more than just your credit score, so rather than looking at your credit score alone, Upstart's model considers other 
other factors like your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in just five minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash new rockstars or click the link in the description below. That's upstart.com slash new rockstars. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash new rockstars. Kimiko snaps Huey's arm, and my guess is that she's either doing this to force him to take Compound V with the rest of the group or to test and see if the Compound V he's already taken has worked. Next, we see some old-timey footage of Soldier Boy in his prime, followed by the Deep watching some people get it on in the reflection of his pupil. He appears to be at some kind of an orgy. I'm sure that the cephalopod watching him get guts a few moments later is super jealous. Newman blows the jaw off some poor sucker in an alleyway in the next shot, and then we see Black Noir eating the most disgusting bowl of cereal I've ever seen at what looks like a Chuck E. Cheese-esque dining establishment, probably a Buster Beaver's pizza restaurant that was teased in 7 on 7. We later see Black Noir sketch its mascot. Maeve practices some sick sword moves, Soldier Boy gets his ass kicked by another soldier in khaki, and Starlight witnesses the most horrific thing I've ever seen, a human exploding out of another human's body. The sign says lucky, but this dude is anything but. I mean, Marvel fans have been asking to see Ant-Man climb up a guy's butt since Thanos, but it looks like Payback's Termite will be the first to go where no shrinkable man has gone before. Butcher clutches a vial of Compound V in his hand, and then we see his eyes glow yellow once more in the next shot. But like two seconds later, he's vomiting up bright green sludge all up in Huey's mouth. Gross. I'm guessing that this is one of the less pleasant side effects of being shot up with super drugs. Homelander is apparently a huge hit with this world's right-winger characters. He's hosting the equivalent of a MAGA rally, and in the crowd you can see a man dressed like the Viking guy from the January 6th Capitol insurrection. After Homelander descends towards a crowd of people, in sharp contrast to when he went bonkers with his eye lasers and slaughtered a bunch of people last season, Ryan's eyes glow red like Homelander's as he rips off some sort of necklace, perhaps one that his dad gave him, and Ashley rips out even more of her hair. A blonde woman, perhaps a young Mallory, is seen running through a battlefield that looks like it could have taken place at the same time as Soldier Boy was originally active. This might be a flashback scene explaining how the two know each other. In the next scene, A-Train is battling Blue Hawk and appears to be calling him off attacking a room full of people of color. It would make sense to have another secretly racist superhero take the place of Stormfront this season, if she's still recovering from her injuries. Apparently, Homelander has replaced his weird milk milking fetish from regular old lady boobs to milking a cow. Eesh. Men will literally milk a cow instead of going to therapy. Next, there's a fun snippet of a song and dance scene performed by Kimiko and Frenchie. I don't know about you, but this kind of reminded me of that musical episode of Scrubs that took place inside the mind of a dying woman. I think that this may be a fantasy sequence that one or both of them is imagining. We see Soldier Boy in action again, once again shown in an old-time vignette as he uses his shield to swat away bad guys, just like Captain America. As he fights, he seems to show little regard for the carnage, which could be why that little boy is screaming and covered in blood in the next shot. In the last shot of the trailer, we see Soldier Boy ripping off all of his medical equipment as he comes out of stasis. Whoa, we finally see a shot of Butcher's powers! He launches Payback's gunpowder straight into the side of a van. Take that, you guns rights activist! Butcher only needs these guns to fight. <laughs> shortly after he shoots yellow laser beams out of his eyes. I personally cannot wait to see Billy Butcher in action this season, and this trailer definitely has me hyped for more boys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at WhitneyPuppy, follow New Rockstars, subscribe to New Rockstars for more analysis of everything you love. Thanks for watching, bye.